All right, welcome to another episode. This is a bit of an exciting episode, well, yeah. for us anyway. <laughs> yeah, very exciting. We're actually swapping our caravan. Um, but we'll tell you a bit more about that as we go. But we've got an upcoming trip. Yeah, and let's just say, Big things come in small packages. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the plan for this episode is to go swap our caravan around and then show you how we prep for a big remote extended travel trip. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> this is it. This is the little beast. <laughs> She's a nugget. Yeah, I know. The saying big things come in small packages in this case is true. Meet Nugget, vacationer's new fully off-road caravan. This little van is packed with all the goodies and ready for any traps we're gonna throw at it. So the plan is with this to do a Simpson Desert run and we couldn't take our big caravan. So it's going into storage and this is going on the back of the truck and we're gonna spend six weeks going through the center of Australia, the Simpson Desert, a few other desert runs. But um, we'll put this on the truck, get it back to our other van, swap everything over and um, then away we go. And then we're gonna show you exactly what we do to get set up for off-grid travel. So after picking the little nugget up the other day, we're finally at the stage of packing and getting ready for our Simpson Desert trip. Elena, you went shopping this morning. Yep, I had the luxury of going all by myself <laughs> shopping and it was a good morning. <laughs> anyway, so when we go shopping, we sort of look for easy, easy things and things that last. Like fruit and veg is quite difficult, but yeah. the main things that we sort of need and bulk buy is um, good old UHT milk. <laughs> yeah, and the reason for all this, fresh stuff lasts so long. You get a week, maybe two weeks, right? Doesn't last. Doesn't last long. So the reason why we've gone like UHT and even to the extent of powdered milk is because we could be two weeks without a shop and like four, probably more four weeks. Yeah. So fresh stuff, we eat that first and then it goes on to this stuff. <laughs> this box stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um, but some of the things are just like Oreos and snacky stuff for the boys. Um, as we all know, kids snack on everything. Yeah. Um, tinned fruit, um, so I can make my famous um, tin cakes. <laughs> or like camp oven cakes. We all know we love a good cooking show. And um, <laughs> I got this today. Deb. Good old Deb's coming with us. Mashed potato. Instant mashed potato. <laughs> so we're going to give that a go. So everyone is different with what they eat. So we're not going to go too much into that. But another thing, we're obviously travelling with kids. So a healthy, su <laughs> healthy supply of nappies and wipes as well for us. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then just, yeah, a lot of non-perishables. So another thing we do too, uh, which helps, we buy a butcher pack. If anyone doesn't know what a butcher pack is... It's like a heap of different meats, and normally butchers like make different packs up, depending on like price, kilos, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And um, it's just a bunch of meat, <laughs> all in one. <laughs> yeah, so you don't have to think about meals or anything. We just buy like, it might be a hundred dollar pack, and um, that, yeah, yeah, got everything in it. And normally we do like a chicken pack or... Yeah, chicken or beef. So. Yeah. So on to the next bit, which is what we take uh, with us safety-wise for remote travel. And yeah. But first, we've got to get this <laughs> into there. <laughs> so as we're doing the dry food, we're also doing uh, the fridge. Now in the back of this hybrid, there is a Bushman's upright fridge. So. We've got, in total, we've got three fridges. There's a 40 litre angle as a freezer in the truck, and then an 80 litre upright, along with this upright that is in the hybrid. So, little sneak peek of the hybrid. We're not gonna go too much in depth of showing you because we're gonna do a walkthrough of this because it's a pretty cool unit. All right, big boy, get in there. <laughs> <laughs> Beastie, look at her. Oh, we've got this down pat. We've done a caravan or two in our life, Ada. Eh, oh, this is actually good to do. I know. This is way better than the big caravan. Oh, oh we've no. got it the wrong way. <laughs> we haven't done a caravan or two. <laughs> <laughs> we do this all the time. I don't think we've jagged it once. All right, so safety gear. <laughs> it, it, 
It doesn't look like much, but we assure you it's safe. Just get the phone call. Yeah. Anyway, so <laughs> first is the first aid kit. So it is handy, and I know first aid kits can get a bit expensive, but they are so worth it. Yeah. Um, we made sure that we got one with um, a snake bite kit. Yeah, that's very that's very important. Yeah. Out of everything, I reckon snake bite. Um, yeah, and on that, being trained to know what to do with a snake bite. <laughs> We've done our first aid courses. Yes. So we're pretty dangerous with a bandage. Yeah. So <laughs> basic stuff and everything you need just in a in one little bag or big bag, whatever. Yeah. Um. Enough to get you out of trouble. Yeah. Next thing is a rescue me. Eperb. Now this little fella is tiny. That's him. And it's it's mainly this one is mainly for like hiking. Um, I think it goes. I'm not sure if it's an ocean one. I don't think it is. Uh, we have a separate one for the boat with that. But essentially, this is a little Eperb. Um, so these guys have our details. Um, our trip plan so we can tell them where we're going so they have an idea and all we got to do it's press... waterproof yeah it's waterproof yeah but i'm not sure how far it goes offshore oh, right because there's different there is different e-purge you can get so yeah. just check that but essentially all you do is press that little red dot there and um the search party come in. the search party comes and gets you and a red hot tip too keep this away from, from children kids. the um the boys haven't touched that little red one. Just the, yet. They've touched the test button, which is very lucky. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Yeah. And next is mobile phone. So we're not sure on if we'll get service everywhere we go. However, we do have Starlink. So we've yeah. only had it for a couple of months um, and it's working pretty well at yeah. the moment. So, so if you're not familiar, um, I guess our, but our options were either Starlink or a sat phone. Um, and we went with Starlink because obviously it's internet everywhere throughout Australia now. And it also allows you to do um, calls yeah. off it as well. So if you set the Wi-Fi up, you can use your phone to make a call. So it essentially turns your phone into a sat phone if you've got no service. Yeah. And really, the only reason we actually have Starlink is because obviously we do YouTube, everything, our job is on yeah. the internet. So. Yeah, but like, I'm not sure how much the sat phones are now, um, I can't even remember when we were looking, but yeah, we went with Starlink because it gave us a bit of everything yeah. over the sat phone, which was pretty pricey at the time, I can remember that, um, for literally, yeah, just being yeah. able to call. Just do your research. Yeah. Whatever suits you guys. Yeah. Anyway, that is our safety gear. That should get us out of trouble if we ever get in it. Well, yeah. <laughs> Moving on, <laughs> recovery gear. <laughs> and I'll start it off. Well, let's be honest. These are a must with, when traveling with Nick. Max trucks. So we, we're going to have four of them on the truck. And hopefully, fingers crossed, well, that'll get us out of trouble. Anyway, don't know the rest of the stuff, so I'm going to let Nick go. All right, so we're going to start over here. This is an air compressor. Um, we haven't used it, no, I lie, we've used it once as a test. <laughs> uh, mainly because we haven't let our tyres down, but uh, if you know us, that should probably get rarely used. But it is good to have an air compressor um, for tyres, deflating and all that. No, not deflating, inflating, that would be. And we actually run two leads and uh, two hand pieces so we can both be on the job. Moving on to this kit, that's obviously a safety thing for winches and all that. This is our recovery bag. Bag of goodies. Yes. Now there's two, there's literally two sets in here. There's a truck set, truck recovery set, and then a normal car recovery set. And I'll tell you why, because um, obviously our truck's a lot heavier than a normal car. And if a normal car uses the truck gear, like all the ropes, um, snatch traps, all that sort of thing, it's gonna break the car. So you always have to go to the lowest rated vehicle. So if a normal car, like four wheel drive's pulling us out, we have to have the snatch traps and all that rated to their car. So yeah, all this, like that's a normal strap, normal car, snatchy, tree protector, 
these things are awesome. They're a soft shackle, so it gets rid of your D shackles. Um, awesome. That's their soft shackles. This is for the winch. To pull back on yourself. And then this is my favourite. This is the truck one. Have a go at that. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. So, compared, that is the truck. That's a normal car. <laughs> if another truck's there pulling us out, we're using this. Normal car. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and then that's just like a bridle. And then when you really want to get serious, they give you gloves. <laughs> but that's our um, recovery um, set. And then in this little bag, it's got all our winch remotes and all everything like that. But there is a couple of things that are worth having, I think. So these are little valves for tires and a puncture repair kit. Um, I think they're worth having just in case you really get into trouble out there. This, you know, for the sake of 30 bucks or something, that could well and truly save your trip. So that's about all our recovery gear off-road. Obviously there's winches and all that on the truck, but that's about our recovery stuff we take when we're going off-grid. And I just wanted to make note, normally they say women have lots of bags. Oh, come on, Alenia. There's a few bags around here. That's a good bag, look at that rope. <laughs> I'm gonna sleep with that tonight. <laughs> anyway, what's up next? <laughs> um, oh, spares. spares. All right, spares for the truck. We um, carry pretty light just because we keep up with all our services, but what we take, we've got a filter for everything on the truck. So in here there's oil and fuel filters, and then this one's an air filter. And Isuzu actually do these as a pack, like a service pack, which you can buy, um, which was another question everyone was asking about the truck, how do we go for parts? Uh, it's actually pretty easy. The truck, like game, just knows how to do it. It's just a pack. Literally, you buy this, go in, say I want an Isuzu pack, and that's it, that's what they give you. Um, and then we just got stuff like brake fluid, a bit of coolant, um, power steering fluid, radiator stop leak, and a bit of oil in the car. So just all the fluids and all that sort of thing. Um, yeah, that's pretty well what we take, because, I mean, where do you stop with spares, I guess? Um, and the truck's very new, so hope, fingers crossed, touch a bit of wood, nothing goes wrong with it. But if there's something with the coolants or anything like that, we'll be prepared. The spare parts probably move on to um, what tools we take to if something does happen, we fix it. This box is full of screws, nuts, bolts, everything like that you can imagine. Just an assortment, an array of different things. Um, this box has got all like auto electrical stuff in it, so you'd be surprised how many times we use this actually. Um, yeah, Anderson plugs, wires, all that sort of thing. Now, as for tools and all that, with grinder, with spare discs, um, battery drills, rattle gun, and then just an assortment of hand tools, um, you know, like shifters, pliers, allen keys, drill bits, um, and then we've got right down the bottom of this is a socket set. Yes, very handy. Um, and then, I don't know why that's in there, but that's a ruler. <laughs> <laughs> just in case we want to measure something. But yeah, just, just an assortment of different tools to get us out of trouble. And then obviously batteries for all the um, power gear. But we found in our travels, that's enough to get us out of trouble. Um, yeah, and then obviously to keep everything lubed up, a uh, grease gun. I don't know Jackie. why that's funny. There's an assortment of fuses and all that sort of thing. So there's fuses for the frid fridges, um, the truck, um, you know, the big ones, mini fuses. So our truck we've ran with these sort of fuses rather than the conventional ones. Um, yeah, so and a good assortment of fuses because it's amazing what a little bit of water can do. Um, and then that's pretty well it. There's a heap more fuses and stuff in there as well, but. Um, yeah, another thing that's not in here, that, oh no, it's in here, is a multimeter. 
um, very handy for diagnosing if your batteries and all that start playing up. So that's our tools that we ca we take, and they've literally just come out of this big caravan. We've put them in this little one. So um, that's the tools. So there is one more thing that we forgot, and um, Alenya is going to show you what that's all about. Righto. So I'm just getting some tips for my next cooking segment, as you all do. But this bad boy <laughs> is the thunder bucket, and that because this doesn't have a toilet. We need to one. So, thunder bucket it is. Show us the show us the thunder bucket. Show us the setup. You want to shoot the get up? Yeah, I know. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> it? It's literally just a bucket with a lid on it, like a toilet seat. <laughs> oh, does it come off? You can't even lift the lid. Jeez, oh, the aim's gonna have to be good. So you do your business and then go and empty that in the dump point. <laughs> See how we go. Yeah, that's a that's a new addition into our travelling setup. Yeah. That might be the boat toilet. We've done it a few times. <laughs> but back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> People don't need to know you shat in the bucket. No. <laughs> <laughs> and the other thing too that I forgot to mention, it's a chainsaw. Well, nothing ever goes to plan, does it? No. Well, the afternoon before we were supposed to leave we were packed up ready to go we got notification that we could actually get the boys into surgery they finney was an urgent case to get his tonsils and adenoids out and lennox we had a choice but he the specialist recommended we get them out so we just said let's just do it <laughs> <laughs> yeah so we packed everything out of the little nug back into the full into the big van and, and um yeah, we, we yeah. had to stay in melbourne yeah, so the boys went in, oh, the, the surgery took like an hour. Finn. <laughs> and then we're overnight at the hospital. Um, and yeah. thank God, so we have Ollie and we weren't allowed to take him into the hospital. So thank God my parents, they dropped everything and came to help us out, which is amazing. So thanks mum and dad, we really <laughs> yeah. appreciate it. And yeah, it made our whole <laughs> post operation post op operation <laughs> week slash nearly two weeks bearable. Yeah, <laughs> and thank God they were there. So they had Ollie overnight when we were with the boys, and then they ha actually had Ollie <laughs> the whole week, <laughs> yeah. didn't they? Yeah, it was just awesome. Uh, yeah, it yeah. was a a big recovery. Yeah, and actually on that too, there's some awesome people in Melbourne. They'll know who they are. They'll be yes. watching this. Um, it really helped us out over the week. Um, Absolutely amazing yeah. people. There need to be more people I like know. them. Yeah, and we really appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, after all that, we finally packed up the little nugget and we've actually just done our first episode in it. We've just finished it. Um, and as you can see, <laughs> It's um, pretty muddy, so we've had a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're back into travel um, lifestyle. Yeah. And um, it's good to be back. It's good to be back, but <laughs> not everything goes to plan when you're traveling, and that's all right. It's part of it. Yeah. But um, yeah. Be cruisy. If be you can. cruisy. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Anyway, thanks for watching uh, this episode. This is a midweeker, actually. So on Friday night will be the first episode of this thing and our little nugget dropping. <laughs> <laughs> anyway guys thanks for watching and uh see you friday see ya